Charles, how difficult there was that that possession against Georgia there in the third quarter, where I think they went on the about nine minutes or so, however long it was, and you know got a lot of third down conversions. That was maybe the first drive all year that kind of felt like last year or something. How how difficult was it to kind of get through that? Yeah, oh uh, yeah, it, it was definitely hard at times. You know, uh, I think in them hard drives right there, you just really gotta you know dig deeper. And you know, uh, I think a, a few times on them drives, there was a lot of times where we might have hurt ourselves. And I think today, uh, when we were watching the film, a lot of times uh, we had a lot of MAs or something of that nature. And I think going forward, it's very important that we correct those small things in order so that we eliminate those long drives. So after you, the, the game Saturday, there was a number of other things in college football that kind of changed the landscape again. And you look at it and you say, wow, we're, we're still in a great spot. Mm -hmm. Were there conversations that were had amongst the players or anything that said it stings to lose that game, but let's get back to work? Yeah, uh, I think just the biggest message is, you know, we can't we can't look forward, you know, with social media and stuff like that. It's hard, you know, hard not to see those things. But I think it's very important that we focus on this week because without getting through this week and doing what we're supposed to do, we're not going to be able to reach those goals. So I think it's going to be very important for us to just take it one game at a time and see how it goes from there. With the anticipation that you all will continue to be in these big type games, what is that one thing you think you really need to tighten up so that you don't have another performance like that? Uh, yeah, I, th I think really just uh, not letting the moment get too big for us. Uh, I think at times that might have been, you know, an issue here and there or not. But I think uh, after the first quarter, we really settled down from that point on. But I think uh, going forward in those big, uh, you know, away games like that, just coming out from the jump, you know, not letting the uh, moment be too big for us. Charles, did you go through either uh, senior day either the past two years? Uh, no, this is my first one. Okay, all right. So, just are you have you thought about what that's going to be like? You've been here six years. You've been through all sorts of ups and downs and 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 uh, adversity. And have you thought about what that moment's going to be when you run through the team for the final time? Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be special for sure. You know, uh, it's finally you know it's finally coming around in the past. You know, uh, like you said, it's probably like what my third senior day or whatever, but. You know, it's kind of surreal. You know, I'm going to just soak it all in, you know, enjoy it with my family and uh, try to just take it all in. Don't let the moment go too fast. You know, take advantage of the time I got because it'll be the last time I'll get to run through the tee at Neyland Stadium. Awesome. Does it make it easier to go through senior day when you know you have two regular season games left? Like, it's mm -hmm. not like the finality of the regular season. Yeah. You, you still have, you know, three games to play. So does it, do, you, do you feel like that makes it easier? Uh, I think I think it makes it a little bit harder because uh, I know for me I would rather I would rather the last game of the season you know be finished out at Neyland, but you know I can't I can't have it that way. But so I definitely gotta just take it in you know and you know enjoy the, enjoy the last moment while I got at Neyland and make sure I go out the right way. Let's show how big is how big and how important is this to come back out there and and play the brand of football that you guys have been playing all season long this week mm -hmm. against Missouri. Oh yeah, it's, it's going to be very important. You know, uh, we just got to go back to work this week and uh, correct those small things that we was working on and things. So as long as we get the small things corrected, I think it'll take care of the big things. But it's very important that we get back on the track. You know, get back to work, and I don't think we got to do anything special. We just got to make those small corrections. Latrell, either during the game or even afterwards, or maybe even today, did you see new guys surface as leaders, as guys trying to get everybody back on track, whether it's mm -hmm. at a position or or overall, and, and making sure you, you guys get back to where you were? Yeah, uh, I, don't, I won't say I, I've seen anybody new. I think it's just been you know the same as a team, everybody lifting each other up, and uh, just really re reminding us, you know, we came too far to let go of the rope now. So you know. We face a little bit of adversity, but we just got to keep pulling in the right direction and keep finishing strong. Charlie, I guess you and some of the older guys on the team definitely know what it's like to, to play against a team that sort of beat you pretty bad the year before. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I guess that's probably what some Missouri players are thinking going into this week after last year. What's that like from the other end when, when, when you're playing a team that you know has really kind of put one on you the year before? Uh, yeah, I think. Coming from that side of it, you really you come in with a chip on your shoulder, and uh, we know we're gonna get their best, and we gotta bring our best too. We can't we can't overlook them for any reason at all. You know, uh, 
I think in the past, you know, we've all, the ones that's been here for a long time, experienced what overlooking a team might be like. So I think we just got to come out, you know, uh, treat this game as our biggest game because it is, because it's our next one. What was the message and the tone from, from Coach Garner for you guys, specifically on the defensive line this morning, kind of going back over, over the Georgia game and resetting? Uh, really just, you know, uh, fixing the correction, of course, and, uh, you know, taking taking that next step, you know, come out, you know, we got to come out this week with an edge, you know, come out with a purpose and don't be lack, lackadaisical. When you look at Missouri's offense, what stands out to you on something you all need to make sure you have, you know, on lock and you don't let them take advantage of that? Uh, I, I would say for me, uh, what stands out is the run game. You know, they have a, uh, they play a lot of tackle over, bringing an extra tackle too. So it's going to be very important for us to read those keys and get in the right, get in the right uh, positions. Anything else for the trail? All right, thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you.